what's going on my good peeps it's oregon motorcycle back today but i'm not in oregon i'm actually in washington right now i am in vancouver washington up here in the vancouver uh it's uh i'm going to pro caliber to check out demo days so um yeah i've been waiting to do this like all year but with uh you know the cough cough stuff going on uh that just hasn't been, you know i haven't heard of any but this is the first one i heard of so i cruised up here uh it's yamaha that's doing it um you know i did a demo day last year and my stupid microphone wasn't on so it ruined the whole video but i test drove a 2019 uh gsxr 750r that's a sweet ass i'm sorry that's a sweet bike i love the way it sounded so um hopefully my microphone's working now and hopefully it works when i get to test ride some of these uh motorcycles today i'm gonna try to ride as uh, many as i can but at least for sure try to ride the t7 so um, we'll see what's up. I almost rode an Africa Twin here at Pro Caliber like a couple weeks ago, but I don't, they didn't seem too interested in doing any test rides or anything. So, you know, and I wasn't a serious buyer. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. So it's a beautiful Friday afternoon. Uh, I have a lot of videos I'm trying to work on right now. I did two rides back to back. Um, I did the Wednesday ride with the West Siders, and then I did the Thursday ride with the East Siders. And man, the Thursday ride or Wednesday ride was crazy. But yeah, I'm working on those videos now. But I decided to take a breather from editing and come up to Washington, see what I can do up here. I know I, I haven't even seen the the t7 in person yet so i've, I've heard of it's, it's tall tall bike but and uh there's one that was posted up on facebook i think that's here in oregon uh, i think it's in hillsboro private sale that's used with 300 miles on it for sale already which is kind of interesting so oh yeah Maybe I should have got here earlier. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Um, I, I want to demo a bike. How many can we do? Well, right now we're limited to two rides. Okay. But you cannot take that one. Why is that? We're going to allow filming on the ride. Really? That's too many problems. How, what kind of problems? Uh, people film when they lay back and they film themselves getting up to 80 miles an hour and putting it on Facebook and yelling off insurance and everything's not going to fit. Oh really? So it's basically for you guys because they keep doing it, they're gonna shut the whole program. Ah oh, man, that's horrible. Do it. Just that way we can keep doing what we're doing. Wow. You know, the only old saying it only takes one bad apple. Yeah. For everybody. And somebody did it and had it on Facebook and corporate seen it had a fit. You guys should have a waiver that you sign or something. I do, it's right here. Well, include the camera thing. <laughs> I need to see your license. I don't make the rules, I just go by what they say. Is that it? Next. Bring the bike you own. Would it be now three months, six months or longer? Mm, let's try that. Okay. And how'd you hear about the event? 
Um, social media. Oh, where do you want this? You want this somewhere else? Well, I'm going to head home. I demoed two bikes and they're not letting anybody film and they're super, super strict on it. They're like, I almost had to pull my whole camera unit off the side of my helmet, but I talked him into it. That just, you know, swore to him that I wouldn't record. And I didn't, I had, just out of respect, but I just like, come on, Yamaha, let's get for real here. You know, you're, you're losing all this free advertisement by all these people that want to come up here and make videos and, and the three different people told me the same story how one guy ruined it how you know he guess he he did some trick editing or something and made the Yamaha yeah it's a bunch of crap so um how do you like that it's awesome you know I've, I've recommended that to a couple of people yeah 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 um I love it I bought it in um January and I've been riding the crap out of it. Good. I got a YouTube channel with a whole bunch of stuff on it and and everything. It's a good bike. Yeah. It's a good all around bike. I commute on it. I take it off road once in a while. Is he got the, uh, is that the Anakees? No, it's the Dunlop Trail Max. That's Trail Max. Yeah. Those just came out. Yeah. Yeah. Now are you gonna do the whole uh, rally raid upgrade? Nah, it, I, it's, it's not, I, in my opinion, it's not worth it. Yeah. I mean, it, I'm just going to ride it for what it is. I'm going to beat the crap out of it, and then I'll buy another one in a couple years or whatever, you know. Yeah, I plan to put a crash bars and skid plate. That's next. Yeah, and so. seriously, after that, just ride the hell out of it. Yeah, exactly. You know, the front end's a little, little weak. It's easy to bottom out, but, you know, it's... I'm not... If I wanted to, like, go crazy, I'd buy a dirt bike. Right. You know what I mean? It's a so. Yeah, it's great. You know, I go camping on it and, you know. Yeah. 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 I tell people, uh, you can make an adventure bike out of anything with two wheels. You know what I mean? So it's it's all about what you want to do and how you want to do it. Yeah, that's the thing. I needed something that could go 80, 90 miles an hour, you know, because I take trips sometimes. and but then you know it's it's great like i said i commute do everything on it so it's no, it, it, it you know. really is as close to a uniform bike yeah, yeah exactly what's your youtube channel it's called oregon motorcycle oregon motorcycle yep remember that, I exactly it's real easy to remember <laughs> great. have a good one Ooh, this bike feels all crazy now and different um all right so where were we that nice gentleman there so yeah yamaha It's not letting oh my god this thing feels so different after riding those big cruisers where am i going here i don't even know where i'm going need to get something to eat oh okay guys so i guess it's really kind of rubbing me the wrong way but you know i feel anybody should be able to film anything out in public um you know and it's it's free promotion for for yamaha Damn, this thing feels like a bicycle after being on that big old cruiser. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, I did two test rides and I did not ride the T7, as you guys just probably heard. Um, it's just waiting. I, I don't want to wait around forever to ride that thing. I'll ride it whenever I maybe really feel like riding. I'm not, I don't have a crazy pull to it. Now, if I was able to film and do a video, I probably would have hung out and waited to ride it. That way I could have made a video for you guys, but you know. So I just had fun. I rode the big old Yamaha Cruiser, which that was a cool bike, man. It was big and huge and it's so comfortable. And it had a big old stereo on it <laughs> and a big old V twin. And uh, it was, it was pretty sweet. It was a pretty sweet bike, big old, big old hog, you know? So um, that was fun. And that model was a, uh, 2018 it wasn't so it wasn't brand brand new 
Um, yeah, it, was, it was a cool, cool bike. And then I rode the 2020 R6, which, oh man, I probably shouldn't have rode that bike. I just, I don't know. I, I really like the sport bikes and I'm probably gonna end up with another one. But I gotta do it to where I can keep a sport bike and then keep something like this, you know? Keep a little adventure bike and then a sport bike or something. You know what I mean? So, that was kind of weird. So yeah, last year when I did the Suzuki test ride, they didn't say a word about my camera. And then you come here to Yamaha and they're like, yeah, some, some Yahoo posted something on YouTube so we, nobody can film ever again. So that is, that is quite funky. Um, but anyways, guys, anyways, there's always gonna be more demo rides. I had planned to do a lot of demos this year. It was gonna be one of my main focuses to make videos for you guys. And that's one of the reasons why I ran up here, you know, to, to check these bikes out. But I ended up just having fun not filming and just riding you know a couple of different bikes i went from one extreme to the next extreme and that was that's pretty fun you know i like like i said before for you know to you guys i like all bikes like all of them even the scooters i love the scooters too and so to if you have the opportunity like that you know to switch it up from you know going from a basically a race bike and then you go to a big old v2n cruiser that's uh that's some good stuff Good stuff there and then i hop on my little adventure bike it feels like a bicycle now <laughs> but i don't know so i'm headed back to oc I'm gonna chill out down there and get some lunch and i get back like i said i have a lot of footage to edit and uh, so until next time folks oregon motorcycle <laughs>